I'm gonna break a few hearts to say that that collection is no longer going ahead. We had our heating on in June. Did you have your heating on in June? Hey team, how are you? I hope that you're tickety-boo. Welcome back to HGDC. I'm Heather and this is my channel, HG Designs Crochet. I am self-confessed, obsessed with granny squares. I'm a mama and I share my life with you here. I live in the UK and I've got lots of projects to share with you. Okay, so first things first, I have 15 minutes to record this. Brad and I planned our day in such a way that I would get a chunk of time to get some work done, do some recording, and then Teddy would nap. I would get a nap to catch up on a little bit of sleep. And then we were going to go out and do our afternoon activities. And of course, on the days where you plan it, your child does not nap at their usual time that they choose to nap on any other day but the day that you want them to do it. Um, so we had to abandon part of the plan and Brad has taken Teddy out on an emergency drive because Teddy will fall asleep in the car seat. And then Brad sent me a message saying, he's asleep, swap with me in 15 minutes time. Um, so I've got to go sit in the car with him in 15 minutes time. So Brad can presumably come in and get a couple of bits done he needs before we go and do our afternoon shenanigans. So I had anticipated having about half an hour to sit down with you. So we're going to have to talk super, super fast. And we're going to have to cram it all in and we'll have to catch up again next week. Okay. So yeah, there was a few things I wanted to run through with you. Uh, number one. I am wearing my Revival jumper. It is my first design that I ever released. It's the first design that I wrote up, um, had tested, tech edited and released into the world. And three months later, I quit my full-time corporate job and started designing as my full-time job instead. And that was back in 2020, 2020, 2021. And Today is June the, Saturday, June 29th, and I wanted to sit down and do a vlog with you in real time. Let me just grab some water. I really, really wanted to share a vlog in real time because I've been sharing quite a bit of footage that I've recorded previously and then What was I saying? What was I saying? Yeah, my content has been bringing together bits from the last year or so. And then also because I schedule my videos a week or so in advance, you're never quite up to date with where I am. Whereas this vlog I'm recording on the Saturday and you'll see on the Wednesday like I think it's like the 3rd of July that you'll see this so you'll be bang up to date bang up to date I've got a basket of stuff here I've got a couple of finished items and a whip to share with you we'll see how far we get before I get my summons the main reason for this sit down is because I haven't done one since I announced my break so back in March 2024 I posted on my Instagram that I was taking a break from HGDC that actually ended up morphing into a break from social media rather than from HGDC what can I say I just I have a compulsion to crochet I can't not I have to make granny squares I have to design things it is part and parcel of me and that social media break did give me a lot of time to step back we had quite a few changes and transitions going on within our life and it gave me a little bit of breathing space for that and it honestly has been so so invaluable and I'm really glad that I made that 
move even though i am a little bit uneasy about what instagram is going to be like for me when i go back and all of those things i stand by my decision i needed that time before i went on the social media break i had announced that my collection for 2024 was going to be a, a mama and me it was going to be like a, a mama and a mini version so there was going to be some items for me and some items for my toddler son and i'm gonna break a few hearts to say that that collection is no longer going ahead whilst i was in the middle of this break i had to really really be brutally honest about how much time i have available how much i'm taking on and what my priorities are and I had to make some big changes and one of the changes was my collection for 2024. I am going ahead with the collection. I have pivoted ever so slightly. So rather than being the big collection that I really, really wanted to do that was going to need a lot of time, which meant I was going to need a lot more childcare or to miss out on a lot more sleep. It meant it needed a lot more tech editing, which meant I needed to reserve a lot more funds to put into it. Um, it meant that I would need to put more time into the admin to really support my testers. Like my tested besties are amazing. And I need to be there for them. It had this big collection was going to draw on all of my resources. And I just don't have that capacity this year to do that. So rather than put myself in a pinch and work myself into the ground and work on projects that I'm not going to say were too big but just potentially were not they're just not the right fit for this season I decided to do a different collection and as I posted when I just checking these notifications aren't Brad and that he's like where are you hurry up when I posted on Instagram I said that my priority for this year was home it's home as in it's brad it's teddy it's our marriage it's our family it's our home in the way that we live and all the choices we make and what we're surrounded in all the home projects that we want to take on all of the decor by the way you are currently in my lounge which we decorated um and the yarn room needed changes, there was just so many things. On top of that, my health was also top, top priority. I wanted to make sure that I was getting sleep, taking my vitamins, eating well. I really needed that shake up. I was having this conversation with a friend the other day on Instagram. We hadn't had a chat for a while and I messaged her to see if she was okay. And we basically just said that we ha we've both had to take a step back from everything and we've had to figure out what it is to navigate life with a child in tow because when I was pregnant I got so many messages of you'll never crochet again your life is over and I really didn't want that to be my reality and so I think I know in a lot of ways I pushed against a lot of changes that needed to be made and that was to my detriment I have plenty of crochet time I've today I sent out four patterns to be uh, tested which is amazing, four items that I've been working on since May. And I have a fifth here in this basket that will hopefully be following them. A sixth just here that I want to show you and a seventh there, plus a few more. So like I have plenty of crochet time, but the things that I have less of is time to sit with no interruptions and get these patterns written up. Um, to do more of the admin side i have less time to record and do tutorials and things like that um because i have more draw on my time from my family and all the other things that are my priority what is with this big vein today i have just had a quite a warm shower so maybe that's what that is all that to say that i've shifted my collection to home and as soon as I made that decision, as soon as like all those dots connected, I was like, this is perfect because that is what my focus is this year. So why not make a collection on the word that is the word of the year? Like my word for 2024 is home. So I started on a collection 
true to form i made it absolutely colossal there was going to be nine items there was absolutely no need for it other than i have all these ideas and i wanted to use them and again along the way i've had to have a mini pep talk with myself if i push for the nine items i'm in danger of nothing being put out so i've decided to create a mini home collection it has three items in it which i absolutely i'm so pleased with every single one of them I have, uh, I have enjoyed being so creative with it. I have enjoyed putting all of these granny square items together and having them displayed around our home. And I've called for testing on those. I can also announce today. Do I want to announce today? Or do I leave that for another video? Echo, how many days until July 17th? Okay, I won't announce today. I have also been working on a secret collection. This collection is absolutely mega. We're not even gonna go into it today because time is ticking and I want to be able to sit down and really do it justice. But I called for testing on that item today and I'm working on the second item, so. <gasps> so excited. As I'm going to be revealing an item from the collection each week from now, I have hidden them. But there is a sneak peek of one of the items here on my picture ledge. And I can confirm that all of the items include, incorporate the mini granny square. I just love them so, so much. I want to be surrounded by them. So all four items are mini granny squares. I posted in my Testy Bestie Facebook group, Facebook group. Goop, goop, goop. I posted in my Facebook Testy Bestie Facebook group a couple of days ago now. It might have been Wednesday or Thursday requesting testers and I have sorted all of that out today. And you know what? I'm quite proud of myself because last year I bit off a massive, massive amount of work in having the collection and I had like four items that were, I had two garments a blanket, a cushion, a bag, a skirt and a top. And they were massive items, massive patterns. And I went all in and I had like over a hundred and something testers. The amount of admin and the logistics in that was huge. And I learned so much in doing that. And I have streamlined massively this year. When I posted, I said to my testers like, for the sake of time and my sanity and like your time, my testy besties time, I'm gonna keep it to like five testers, maybe six maximum per item. And then in future tests, I will take on more testers. If I'm just running like one solo test and I can have more testers, because right now I have 20 something testers, but if I have one test with the same amount, it's like the same amount of work, arguably less because you're all doing the same pattern. Um, yeah, so I've just learned so much and it took me five hours this morning and I finished up the three, four patterns, did the tweaks I needed to do, got them uploaded onto Google Drive, sent out all of the access links, did all of the posts in the Facebook. Like, honestly, I've just had it. I just, it's so streamlined. And I will also say that my planner has massively, massively helped. So thank you to me. <laughs> thank you to Pass Me for designing this. This is my pattern planner. I unboxed them with you last week and i have got i've got two on the go at the moment i've got the one for the collection and i've got this one that's got my secret secret in here um it's honestly made such a difference and i'm going to i need to do some updating in here which i would do later on tonight and i can write out how, when my test started um all of their contact details it's so easy to have it so much easier to have it all to hand and just grab and go so i have i'm loving this and i'm gonna then take myself straight into my first finished object it's finished okay don't mind the ends don't mind them it's the time saying oh sugar let me just message bradley i just need eight minutes honey pie just eight minutes okay love you bye we've got eight minutes we're going to be late. Okay. Um, 
I have got my first finished object here to show you. I haven't shown you a finished object since like when? <sighs> Last year sometime, I think. For my planner, I have made a cover. <laughs> Can you see it? It's so cute. It's so cute. It is two rounds, two round granny squares because I'm just on the mini granny square hype. Um, finished it with these pink ties, which I absolutely love. And it's just like an envelope style. And then you just pull out your planner. I say it's finished. I haven't woven in. I have woven in a single end. I think I've woven in a couple of squares, but in there it is yarn end central. I see you, baby. Shaking those ends. Shaking those ends. Um, that is the reason I didn't weave in an end. All of my patterns tell you, implore you, do not leave your ends to the last. But I always leave mine to the last minute because if I want to make changes, it's really, really hard when I've woven in my ends. And I always say that to my testers as well, like try and hold off weaving in your ends until you know that it's right because it's so hard to undo it once you've done your ends so i have made the planner cover and i'm gonna get that written up and see if any of the people that have the, the planners i have some planner testers and then i have some people that have purchased them as well let's be clear all of the testers purchased but they did it at a reduced price it was more cost price and then i've gone on and done a couple of launches since I'm gonna see if they want to make one. And all previous planners had coils and I've made this so that it is big enough to go over the coils as well. So no matter which like generation of planners you have, you're good, you're covered. I think all I would do is maybe add a third tie if you have a coil one. Um, just because I find that when I'm putting this like in and out of my bag, it was getting a little bit messed up and it was like catching on things and this just looks cute. So what do you think? I did look at getting like some made, like some sewn with fabric, but then I was like, we're crocheters. With crocheters. I think that would just be a freebie for whoever purchases the planner. And you can also customize the size and make them for other items of tech, which might be a future whip. I don't know yet, let's see. And then I also have this mini granny square whip on the go. Again, I'm just not gonna weave the ends in until I know that, it's, that it works. Um, this one is for part two of my home collection. And it's currently living in this basket that I picked up from Ikea. It's so cute and it's so on brand. And it just has a load of yarn in it that I can grab and I leave it up on our Calax that's under our TV unit. And then that way I can just grab and go. And then I also have this basket which lives on top of Teddy's Calax unit. Um, we had a Calax unit for Teddy and I put cupboards at the bottom and he didn't really go in them and yeah I regretted putting them at the bottom and I was going to move them to the top and then had the brainwave of flipping the unit around so both Brad and I now have a cupboard which means not only is it out of Teddy's height so he can't reach it but he can't see so we've got our charging stations in there fun fact our child is obsessed with plugging plugging plugs in and putting things on charge and if he sees your items on charge he wants to plug and unplug and nothing ever gets charged and all the cables get scrambled so we have our own little space and within that I've got like my mac and other bits and bobs my planner lives in there and on top my current project is living so this is the pieces for another project Guess what it is? Some of you guessed on the previous one and I can't confirm or deny whether you're right, but you were really on the right lines. That's what I'm gonna say. So I have two panels here and then I have this piece 
and I have some other bits that I'm part way through. And this is part of the secret collection. So I'm working my way through that, hoping to get that finished up and tested very, very soon. <sighs> and as soon as we have, I have announced the mini granny square collection, then I can go on and talk about the secret and uh, share the finished objects of which I already have number one to share with you. So I don't take up any more time because Brad and I do not like being late and I am at risk of making us late. So let me know what you think to the planner cover. What do you think this is? What do you think this is? Um, let me know what your thoughts are on the two round mini, gra mini grounds. Two round mini granny squares, are you a fan? hope you're a fan because I have a lot of projects with them and one other thing if you are in the UK if you live in the UK if you're in the UK can you let me know whether this week you have been absolutely sweltering in the heat wave because we have we were it was unbearable Wednesday was like disgustingly icky we barely got any sleep Wednesday night and here I am on Saturday sat in a woolly jumper again like what is this? Last week was great and miserable and this week it's semi overcast and miserable. What? Uh, did this happen to you too? Is that it? Is that our summer over again or what? Is it coming back? Why don't we get a warm up? Like it wasn't really spring, it was just winter and it was April showers and it was grey and it was miserable all the way into June. We had our heating on in June. Did you have your heating on in June? And then a heat wave kicked in. It was nearly 30 degrees overnight. Like, you, when it starts at 10, 13 degrees and then it hits almost 30 degrees, it is such a struggle to acclimatise. That's all I'm going to say. Are you with me? Are you with me? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Um, I've got some of my artwork here. I'm not sure if you can see, but I found a way to keep Teddy's face private, but keep it on brand. And I'm so pleased with it. Look. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Take care. I hope you tickety boo and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Don't mind the time, babes. Don't mind the time. It's fine. I'm starving as well.